With almost 50,000 Shermans built, including all the variants, it should come as no surprise that both during World War II and after, there were many bizarre versions of the tank. Today, we will be looking at eight of these, which I would consider to be some of the most cursed looking to have ever been created. Before we start, though, I want to make a little bet with you. You've likely seen at least a few other videos like this one, so you might think you can guess all or most of the Shermans I will mention today. So here's my wager to you. If you can guess at least six of the variants I have chosen, you win and are both based and Sherman pilled. However, if you guess five or less correctly, then you owe me both a like and subscribe. Go ahead and make your guesses now as we start our list. Here we go! Coming in at number 8, we have one that most of you have probably seen before, the M4 with a T26 turret. A single prototype was built by Chrysler by combining both what would become the M26 Pershing turret with the hull of a Sherman. This would have provided the Sherman with improved turret armor and a more powerful 90mm gun with minimal changes to the hull thanks to both tanks featuring the same turret ring diameter. However, when you consider that when this was built, the US already had both the T26 and the M36 beginning production, it was not only fairly unnecessary, but could slow down production of the T26, which would become the M26. So this leaves the Pershman as little more than an interesting what if, although the later M36B1 essentially fulfilled the same firepower increase, albeit with less armor. Moving on to number 7, we travel south to a continent filled with strange vehicle modifications and find the Argentinian Sherman Repotenciado. While by itself this vehicle is not much different from other post-war modifications of the Sherman, it is the origin of those Shermans that makes me choose this for my list over vehicles such as the Israeli M50. The 120 Repotenciado Shermans were converted from tanks which had previously been Sherman Fireflies, which themselves were a conversion of Sherman M4s and M4A4s. These tanks featured a copy of the French CN10557 and a French V8 engine, giving both better mobility and firepower than they had while in their Firefly configuration. None would ever see combat, but it remains as part of both the legacy of the Firefly as well as Argentina's armored vehicle history. Up next, we find our number 6 selection, which is also the only one on this list which was never actually built. You can say I'm cheating on the bet including this one, but I felt that the proposal for the improved M4 Sherman is quite fitting for this list. Several different proposals for such a vehicle were made, with one from Aberdeen Proving Grounds and another from the Detroit Arsenal. The Aberdeen design is quite cursed looking with a much more angular design both for the hull and turret. The tank would feature a more powerful engine and turret made of welded plates rather than castings. As for the Detroit design, the front of the vehicle was altered to increase the angle, thus improving the protection as well as sloped side armor. A new turret design would have allowed mounting of the standard 75mm gun, the 105mm howitzer, or the more powerful 75mm gun used on the M10, with the only change needed being a different mantlet depending on the weapon chosen. Interestingly, while neither of these would be adopted, some of the design elements would see their way into production Shermans as improvements to the design. For number 5, we have another upgun Sherman. However, this is probably the most cursed of its type. Not a ton is known about the SO-122, and even fewer photos of it exist, but what we do know is that it was equipped with a 122mm cannon similar to that of the IS-2. What you may not be aware of, though, is that this was not the only change to the vehicle. Aside from a homebrew turret, the tank also had its engine compartment redesigned to house a Soviet V2 engine. Only one of these would be built by Yugoslavia, despite a prospective order for 100. Given the fairly outlandish design, it's not too surprising such a vehicle failed to enter production. Staying on the topic of Shermans with absurdly large guns, at number 4 we find the Roem SPG. These ridiculous box tanks were created in the 60s as a way to mount a 155mm gun on the Sherman chassis. These were built using Sherman HVSS chassis and featured an 8-man crew. 
With such a large armament, the name, which translates to Thundermaker, does feel quite fitting for such a vehicle. Around 200 of these boxy boys were built, and they saw service during the Yom Kippur War. We don't travel far, with number three being yet another cursed creation by the Israeli military. For this, I have sort of lumped together two different Shermans, however they are both extremely similar to one another. The MAR-240 and 290 are both MLRS launchers, with the names actually corresponding to the launcher and not the vehicles. However, for simplicity, I'll just be referring to them by those names. The MAR-240 was the first of these, built as a way to use Soviet BM-24 240mm rockets captured from Egypt in 1967. This design did not pass the prototype stage, though. The MAR-290 would come later in the 1970s, with it now carrying larger, domestically built 290mm rockets. Another of these launchers was later placed on a Centurion hull as well, although that idea was canned in 1980. The MAR-240 would see no combat service with it only being tested, but the 290s would be put into service, being used during 1982. No cursed Sherman list would be complete without the pinnacle of tall Chad embodiment that is the T-10 Mine Exploder, coming in at number two. As the name would suggest, this tank was intended as a mine roller with its massive wheels both detonating the mines and keeping the vehicle itself far enough away from the explosion to remain operational. With a weight nearly double that of a standard Sherman, and incredibly slow speed, it's no surprise this monstrosity never saw further production after trials at Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Before I reveal my top pick, I want to include a couple honorable mentions, which, while cursed, aren't quite on the same level as the rest on this list. These are the T-31 demo tank, and the Shermans fitted with the FL-10 turret. The T-31 was fitted with a dummy 105mm gun, two 183mm rocket launchers, a plethora of machine guns, and a flamethrower with the intention of using it as an engineering tank similar to the British AVREs. As for the Sherman FL-10s, these are simply Shermans fitted with the same turret found on the AMX-13, granting them a more powerful 75mm gun and an autoloader. Finally, coming in at number one, what is in my opinion one of the least known and most cursed looking Sherman variants ever made, we have the Shermans of the T-53 program. This was a project that sought to mount the 90mm onto a M4 chassis for use in an anti-tank role. The first version of this was the T-53 and featured a rear mounted gun which later received a gun shield for the crew. However, there was also a second version of this concept in the T-53E1, which shifted the gun to the middle of the tank, creating this atrocity. Let me know below if you think it looks worse with the more boxy gun shield or the curved one. Just want to give a quick shout out to Nicholas Moran and his book Can Openers if you want to learn more about this oddity. I'll also be covering this more in depth in a full video coming soon, so if you get the book, you can be sure to study ahead of time so you can pass the exam. That concludes my top 8 Cursed Shermans. Let me know down below how many you were able to guess and if any of these are new to you. I hope I helped introduce you to at least one. If you think I missed one, drop that below as well, and maybe in the future I'll do a bigger video covering every weird Sherman variant. Thanks for watching, and to my Conley fans for supporting my content. If this video got you in the mood for more Sherman content, go check out my video covering the cursed but effective Sherman Firefly. See you there.